<clears throat> he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury, and many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. He called his disciples and said to them, In truth, I tell you, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury. They have all put in money for they could spare, but she in her poverty has put in everything she possessed, all she had to live on. And then in the Luke, it's about the same thing. Looking up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poverty-stricken widow putting in two small coins. And he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them, for these have all put in money they could spare, but she in her poverty has put in all that she had to live on. Among those, now it is Holy Thursday in the morning. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. These approached Philip, who came from the house of the twin fig tree in Galilee, and put this request to him, Sir, we would like to see the Holy Savior. Philip then went to tell Andrew, and Andrew and Philip together went to tell the Savior. Eternal Savior replied to them, Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. In all truth, I tell you, unless a wheat grain falls into the earth and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and my servant will be with me wherever I am. If anyone serves me, my Father Almighty will honor him. Now my soul's troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it's for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing by who heard this said it was a clap of thunder. Others said it was an angel speaking to him. Holy Savior answered, It was not for my sake that this voice came, but for yours. Now sentence is being passed on this world. Now the prince of this world is to be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all people to myself. By these words, he indicated the kind of death he would die. The crowd answered, The law has taught us that the anointed will remain forever. So how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Eternal salvation then said, The light will be with you only a little longer now. Go on your way while you have the light, or darkness will overtake you, and nobody who walks in the dark knows where he is going. While you still have the light, believe in the light so that you may become children of light. Having said this, eternal Savior left them, and he was hidden from their sight. Though he had been present when he gave so many signs, they did not believe in him. Though they had been present when he gave so many signs, they did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the words of the prophet Isaiah. Lord, who has given credence to what they have heard from us? And who has seen in it a revelation of the Lord's arm? Indeed, they were unable to believe, because, as Isaiah says again, he has blinded their eyes, he has hardened their hearts, to prevent them from using their eyes to see, using their hearts to understand, changing their ways and being healed by me. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory, and his words referred to holy salvation. And yet there were many who did believe in him, even among the leading men, but they did not admit it. Because of the Pharisees, and for fear of being banned from the synagogue, they put human glory before God's glory. Eternal Savior publicly declared publicly, Whoever believes in me, believes not just in me, but in the one who sent me. Whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I have come into the world as light to prevent anyone who believes in me from staying in the dark anymore. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall judge such a person, since I have come not to judge the world, but to save the world. Anyone who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The world itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For I have not spoken of my own accord, but the Father Almighty who sent me commanded me what to say and what to speak, and I know that his commands mean eternal life, and therefore what the Father has told me is what I speak. So the correlated readings, 27th of January, 1992. For instance, it says, Peace be with you, little child. This grace has been given to you so that I, through you, will open the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf. I will continue to manifest myself 
for you in this way. You are a most imperfect instrument, but my compassion sees your efforts and your imperfection, and my wrath gets disqualified by my tenderness. Never doubt of my love. I want weakness so that I may do everything. It is I unlimited salvation who shall give you to humanity, who shall give you the directives to unity, who shall give humanity to you and humanity the directives to unity. That means that we give it to the Siliki, would give it to us, the directives to unity. The hour has come for my body to be glorified. And he mentions they shall soon learn in which way he will do that. My ways are not your ways. <clears throat> 29th of September, 1992. <clears throat> ah, my little pupil, I bless you. Love me and glorify me, for I am three times holy. Then the next day, Lord, our error is guilty of great blasphemies. Say it. I can't really see the dawn even of unity. Yes, maybe that you said, Lord, the soon, it was not my soon, but yours. Yours means very long, a very long wait. It says, I shall come suddenly upon you in a pillar blazing fire. A fire that will change the face of this earth. Come, take courage, my child. Every step you take, I, the Lord, bless. If you have the world against you, it is because you have seen my glory. It is because I shared your meals side by side with you. It is because at your house I have entered to glorify my name again. Because I shared your meal side by side with you goes with Apocalypse chapter 3, which says, If a man open the door, I will sup with him and he with me. Have I then no right to be generous? Are you reproaching me because I am generous with your soul? Have we not agreed that you will let me free to do what I please with you? Come, you are weak. Offer me your weakness and your wretchedness. Oh, one more thing. Unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But my child of the king, if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. You are my adopted child. Learn what I mean. Let your thoughts, your desires, everything resemble mine. So take up your cross and follow me. I love you to follow. So love my cross too to follow. Love me to follow. And then take up your cross and follow me is in the Gospels, like mainly Luke. Okay. Uh, 22nd of June, 1998. while doing that. So, in the uh, here we go. And you, Vasiliki, on whom I pose myself, that in vision of January twenty ninth, nineteen eighty nine, the Holy Spirit came as a dove, stretching their hands, but decided to fly over to me or to the silica and posed himself on her outstretched hands on fingers. Then I hugged him on my cheek, she says. And who hugged me ever so tenderly and with so much affection on your cheek as a token of love, exclaiming, I found him 
whom my heart loves, and you clasped me and held me firm against your cheek. Now would you let me go? But I too had found my bed of spices, band sweetly scented. I shall give you the gift of my love. I said, then like drops of pure myrrh, my words dropped in your ear, opening it to be able to hear my desires. I am your life. Let yourself be directed by grace from now on by me. Let your lips be as the lilies. It means let your sayings be pure, distilling pure myrrh. Do not give up the struggle. I will be with you. Bear the cross of the anointed king and be enamored of it, and I will be with you. Put your faith in God and glorify the Father Almighty's name. Encourage your generation to get to know the Father. Tell them that he is a gentle father and a God of consolation. Spread the knowledge of himself and I will be with you. Tell this generation that the Amen's name fills all the universe with the most sublime perfume, a most delicate fragrance. Be like a gazelle and be swift going over ravines, crossing valleys with our word and I will be with you. Be as a lily through your purity of intentions, distilling pure myrrh on the church that the anointed king purchased with his own blood. And then, also, uh, 21st of February, 1995. Is correlation and now my Savior you who count the first in my life forgive my wretchedness and my failures love I love you anyway dissolve the mist around me inexhaustible treasure thrice holy starlight of my night vessel of my soul pillar a blazing fire. Do not leave me imprisoned in darkness. Clap of thunder. Revive my soul and grant me instruction and correction. God Almighty's voice is like a clap of thunder. John chapter 12, verses 28 through 29. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it. I will glorify it again. People standing by who heard this said it was a clap of thunder. He says, my company and my friendship will teach you with simplicity. Take my hand, and together we will continue on the road I have prepared for you, so that I bring you to perfection. What will I not do for all of you to conquer your heart entirely? So all is needed for your Savior to make him happy. Even a mere look at me rejoices me. That is when I would look at his portrait with love. That is the portrait of the Holy Shroud. I can make you mine forever and my sovereignty over you will transfigure your soul into a crystal clear diamond radiant and without blemish. I tell you solemnly, unless you die to your you, you will not acquire eternal life. I am the light of life. And you, child, remember, your brothers and sisters are still far from my divine heart which can render them divine. They are on their way to perdition and destruction is gnawing on them without even, them even realizing it. Creation, you have only to will and I shall descend upon you like a river. The ever-flowing source coming from my breast. The 7th of August, 1994. 
apparently, but uh, maybe not. Okay. It says. It was the 3rd of May, 1994. Or 3rd of March, 1994, because there's no 3rd of May in there. Nineteenth of March, nineteen ninety one. Approximately eighteenth of March, nineteen ninety one. Okay, now going on further. Now it speaks of the last things. Mark 13, 1 to 23. As he was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Master, look at the size of these stones. Look at the size of those buildings. And the Savior said to him, You see these great buildings? Not a single one stone will be left on another. Everything will be pulled down. While he was sitting on the Mount of Olives facing the temple, stone, supplanter, divine favor, and Andrew questioned him when they were by themselves. Tell us, when... Is this going to happen? And what sign will there be that it is all about to take place? Then the Savior began to tell them, Take care that no one deceives you. Many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and they will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This is something that must happen, but the end will not be yet. For nation will fight against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. This is the beginning of the birth pangs. Be on your guards. You will be handed over to Sanhedrins. You will be beaten in synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake as evidence to them, since the gospel must first be proclaimed to all nations. When you are taken to be handed over, do not worry beforehand about what to say. No, say whatever is given to you when that time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking, it is the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child, and children will come forward against their parents and have them put to death. You will be universally hated on account of my name, but anyone who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you see the appalling abomination set up where it ought not to be, let the reader understand that those in Judea must escape to the mountains. Man is on the housetop, he must not come down or go inside to collect anything from his house. If a man is in the fields, he must not turn back to fetch his cloak. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast when those days come, pray that this may not be in winter, for in those days there will be a great distress, unparalleled since God created the world, and such as will never be again. That's Daniel 12, verse 1. And if the Lord had not shortened that time, no human being would have survived. But he did shorten the time for the sake of the elect whom he chose. If anyone says to you then, look, here is the anointed one, 
Look, he is there. Do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will rise and produce signs and portents to deceive the elect. If that were possible, you therefore must be on your guard. I have given you full warning. Matthew 24, 1-25, the same theme. The Savior left the temple. And as he was going away, his disciples came up to draw his attention to the temple buildings. He said to them, In reply, you see all these? In truth, I tell you, not a single stone here will be left on another. Everything will be pulled down. While he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came and asked him when they were by themselves, Tell us, when is this going to happen? And what sign will there be of your coming at the end of the world? And the Savior answered them, Take care that no one deceives you, because many will come using my name and saying, I am the Anointed One, they will deceive many. You'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed. For this is something that must happen, but the end will not be yet. For nation will fight against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this is the beginning of the birth pangs. And will be handed over to, the, to be tortured and put to death. And you will be hated by all nations on account of my name. And then many will fall away. People will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will rise. They will deceive many. And with the increase of lawlessness, love and most people will grow cold. But anyone who stands firm to the end will be saved. This good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed to the whole world as evidence to the nations, and then the end will come. So when you see the appalling abomination which the prophet Daniel spoke set up in the holy place, let the reader understand, then those in divine praise must escape to the mountains, says Judea. If anyone is on the housetop, he must not come down to collect his belongings from the house. If anyone is in the fields, he must not turn back to fetch his cloak. At last, for those with child or with babies at the breast, even those days come. Pray that you will not have to make your escape in winter or on a Sabbath, for there there will be great distress unparalleled since the world began, such as will never be again. And if that time had not been shortened, no human being would have survived. But shortened that time shall be for the sake of those who are chosen. And when it says to you then, look, he is, here is the anointed one over there. Do not believe it, for false messiahs and false prophets will rise and provide great portents and signs to deceive even the elect if that were possible. Look, I have given you warning. And then, crossing over in Luke. When some were talking about the temple remarking how it was adorned with fine stonework and votive offerings. She said, All these things you are staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. They put to him this question, Master, they said, Will this happen then? What the sign will be there about what sign will there be that is about to take place? He said, Take care not to be deceived, because many will come using my name and saying, I am the one, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. When you hear wars and revolutions, do not be terrified, for this is something that must happen first, but the end will not come at once. He said to the nation will fight against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines in various places. There will be terrifying events and great signs from heaven. But before all this happens, you will be seized and persecuted. You will be handed over to the synagogues and to the imprisonment and brought before kings and governors for the sake of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Make up your minds not to prepare your defense. Because I myself give, shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated universally on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your perseverance will win you your lives. <clears throat> when you see the city of peace surrounded by armies, then you must realize that it will soon be laid desolate. That those in Judea must escape to the mountains, those inside the city must leave it, and those in country districts must not take refuge in it. For this is the time of retribution when all that scripture says may be fulfilled. Alas for those with child, with babies at the breast, when those days come. For great misery will descend on the land and retribution on this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive to every Gentile country, and the city of peace will be trampled down by the Gentiles until their time is complete. And then there's the corresponding readings with them. However, the next video will be the TLIG readings that correspond to this. Because it's like only six minutes left on it or something. Um, but we could try. It's 22nd of October, 1996. No. It is... 
Okay, 2nd of July, 1992. It goes with that. And, Okay. Satan may sound virulent and may appear as though he triumphs over every nation, that he his victories are glorious, but child of the king, soon I shall conquer him, for this is my battle. Child, I shall comfort you and give you sufficient strength to continue your mission. The Lord speaks now. That was the Holy Mother, now it's the Lord. Please me, announce my words. Everywhere I send you, stand firm. Lean on my heart and feel loved. Tell my children to consecrate themselves and their families to our two hearts. <clears throat> consecrate yourselves that I mark you as mine. Hear me. I tell you solemnly that there will come a time of distress like never before. The earth is already seeing the dawn of this time. Stand firm and do not allow yourselves to be deceived. Many are claiming that they hear me, proclaiming messages, but I am not the author of these messages, nor your mother either. I have already warned you of these times. I have many times warned you that in these times many false prophets will rise to ruin your master's works with lies. <clears throat> the ears of those who hear will be alert. The heart of the hasty will be deceived. Many will try to deceive you, child of the king, saying that I, unlimited salvation, am sending them to you, but they are false prophets. Remember many false anointed kings will rise. Some will produce great signs and impressive, impress even the elect. There, I have warned you again. And then Uh, 7th of February, 1991. <clears throat> I am coming to gather nation after nation and show my holy face to each one of you and remind you of my love. But look, the beginning of sorrows has started. The beginning of your birth pangs, too. Your witnesses, since you became believers, that what you read in scriptures is coming to reality. And then... I think that will be completed. <clears throat> 